We're not saying you need to live in a hay bale building to be sustainable. You can live in a building that looks and feels like a normal building, but once you pay attention to the details, they really make a difference. I sat in a room 13 years ago here at UTSC where someone introduced to us the idea of Passive House. When you see how much cooling is actually being dumped out of a building in the summer or how much heat is being lost in the winter, just because people didn't take the time to detail windows or have the kind of thermal envelope that we do in Passive House. Responsibility for sustainability actually falls on everybody. Here at the university, we have expertise in building technologies and building systems. If we're just building the traditional buildings and we're not driving that innovative agenda, we're falling somewhat short. It just all of a sudden became, why aren't we doing more of this? Passive House you know, originated in Germany some 20, 25 years ago at least for relatively small scale buildings. It's really creating a super efficient envelope around the building, almost like imagining a fantastically powerful thermos. Passive House is more manageable potentially on a smaller building. A bigger building, this is definitely a new scale. There's so many more people involved throughout the design and the construction. It's on us to become better. And so we've had to do training and education to make sure that we would be successful. There was just so much risk around people not knowing what Passive House was and if they could complete the project. Our first reaction was fear, for sure. A fear of uncertainty and of unknown. It was the first time we had seen something like this. I really feel this work is changing the way construction companies are working, changing the way developers are thinking, changing the way other architects are working, so it's been incredible. Windows, which are normally the weakest part of any wall system, actually jumped up in terms of their efficiency. The test basically involves uh, sealing off the entire building to verify if there was any leakage. I wasn't here, I was too anxious about it. So I was just on the phone constantly checking, how are we doing? We passed on the first try. With flying colors. With flying right? colors. 50% better than what we were targeting. With the size and the complexity of this building, it's definitely a challenge that we had the right team to get this project all the way. We've brought our intensive knowledge of Passive House Design into what is a beautiful project on its own and just bring it one level up and make it one of the most sustainable buildings in the world. This is a great opportunity for people to realize that you can contribute to reducing global climate change impacts and still live a great quality life.